What's up guys, it's Claudio, and in this video, we're gonna talk about my number one mistake that I made as a beginner racer. This happens so many times, and I'm sure it happens to so many people. It's Thursdays with Claudio, let's go! <laughs> Guys, I'm back. I am back. Wow, this is also, because we're gonna talk about this big mistake that happens often, but we gotta catch up, okay? Uh, we're gonna talk about, this is Cat 5, July 2019, it's a throwback video. And, um, but man, uh, let's catch up, because I've been out of it for a minute, right? I went, okay, in January, I went on a big surf trip to Costa Rica, amazing. Um, I got into surfing this like last summer and it rips man. It's, it's like the funnest thing ever. I'm hooked. Um, so um, also I have a coach now. Some of you know, some of you don't. Um, my coach has been programming me. So he programmed me um, a plan like blocks so that right before I went in January, I built a whole bunch. So I, I built my fitness up and then I went for 10 days to Costa Rica. <clears throat> And that was like my recovery period. And I was really afraid that I was gonna lose so much fitness. But believe me, I did not. When I got back, I did intervals and I, I was like up 10 watts. And I was only on the bike twice during in Costa Rica, once mountain biking and another time like at a spin class. Anyways, I surfed, it was great. Um, I caught some sick waves. Um, I went to a, a jungle party. I met a girl, like the whole thing, right? And I was, wow, it was such a trip, right? So that happened and that was my birthday trip, my big 40th, I'm a master's now. That's another thing, right? Dang, can you believe 40s, I'm 40? I'm 40 and I'm, I feel like the fastest I've ever been, the strongest I've ever been. <clears throat> Um, I feel, I feel great. I started cycling when I was 35, right? So I'm just up, 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 up. I'm just getting better and better. Um, but as soon as I got back from Costa Rica, I got sick right away. Cause the, in New York, it was like hardcore. It is hardcore winter. And so I am, I, I caught a cold instantly. Took me off the bike another week. That sucked. Then as I got back from that stupid cold, um, I got COVID, so that took me off another week, and I'm just getting back. I'm getting back to it. So I wasn't like totally off the bike. There was like, when I had that first cold, I was like riding and doing stuff, um, but it wasn't, um, it wasn't very productive or consistent. Anyways, I've been off the bike, so now my, like my fitness curve is way down. So I'm kind of worried, but kind of not, because um, my A races are like in <clears throat> June and July, right? I signed up for Tulsa. I'm gonna be at Tulsa. Tulsa Intelligentsia Cup, that's June and July. I got my, my dog right here. Fancy. Anyways, um, so we got time and we're skipping around in this video. Okay, this is cat five days. Way back then, um, let's look at the average, um, what is it? Uh, the speed is 21 miles an hour, chill. There's something going on here. Normalized power 213, average watts 186, right? Stuff is happening, but man, um, what's, what's this? We're closing a gap, but like the whole field is behind me. Oh, yikes. I should not be doing this. See, it's like, this kind of stuff is like what hurts you. 180 BPM, back then my max heart rate, like I never saw it go above 182, 83. That was max. This doesn't make sense. Why am I doing this? Because I'm a cat five, right? I should not, I, I, what am I gonna do up there? It's two laps in. Anyways, I'm back. I'm just, I'm just doing zone two right now until I really get it together. And uh, I'm gonna start, uh, I'm gonna start a new block, I think next week when I'm fully, fully recovered and um, I've been doing all kinds of things. I got into yoga. I got into, um, oh, I did a lot of strength. I did a lot of strength on the gym. I've been pumping it. I actually built a pretty good amount of strength. I was very consistent. I was lifting heavy. I was, I was really, I got really into the gym this, uh, this year. So that's going to be something that, uh, I'm going to really, let's see how it pays off. Let's just see, right? I mean, there's a lot of factors that play this year. But uh, I think that, I think I'm strong. I feel strong. 
Wow, look at this Cat 5 field. <laughs> what is happening? What is even happening? <laughs> it's like kind of like chaos here. Mm. So, this thing. Anyways, we are... Uh, I'm back. In, I'm back in New York here to here to stay. Um, no big trips or anything. I, I'm, maybe a snowboarding trip, something like that. But I'm in, I'm, I'm in training mode. That's it. We're we're getting back into it. And uh, there's some early races. There's there's racing happening like next week, like the first crit, like like on the 26th, whenever that is. It's like, it feels like it's next week, maybe in two weeks. There's no way, I have no, I haven't been doing intervals, guys. I don't have any race intervals in me. It would be kind of fun to see what happens, but the three, four field already sold out. It's only the fixed gear that's available. So, uh, let's get into this race. We're all caught up. Thursdays with Claudio, it's gonna come back. It is back, I'm back to it. I don't know what kind of race footage I have for you guys until I start racing again, or what kind of videos that's gonna be, but I'm gonna have to get creative, right? Uh, I, I don't have any more. This is like the last one that I dug out. Uh, um, so, we're in this video. Oh, there's gaps, okay? And I am doing, like back then, if I if you saw my, my power go spike up to like 300 watts, uh, that hurt. Because my, my, my FTP back then was like maybe 230 or something. It was 230 and I didn't have any like... Uh, real interval training because I was training for a triathlon so it's like all steady state so like races like this they would destroy me all the the spikes and the power um, this was a 30 minute race it's like chill now thinking about it man it's like it's nothing we're chilling right so there's a lot of mistakes that happen when you're you're a cat five and you're learning <coughs> most of it is uh, race awareness like what's happening because you are freaking out the whole time about your fitness and you're worried about getting dropped most people myself for two years that's all that was on my mind at races like oh my god oh my god oh my god I'm gonna get dropped I don't have the fitness and so my brain couldn't understand anything it couldn't read a race it couldn't do anything other than just be in survival mode um, that was painful to watch. It, were, it was clearly like uh, some wind. It was just so slow. Like, what are we doing? You know, 17, 18 miles an hour. There's like huge winds here. It's like ridiculous. Anyways, the thing that's the, the big mistake that, that we make here, it, it's coming right up. We're setting it up. It's going to be one lap to go real soon. We're cruising. I made it. Like, I remember this race because I, I lasted till the last lap. <clears throat> I lasted this long. And back then, I did not last this long at all. So I was so happy, okay? So when you're racing and you're a beginner, you don't, um, you don't think about tactics. You, you don't think about the wind. You don't think, like, am I drafting properly? You don't, because you, you're, you're so occupied with just, like, surviving. And you're scared to death, too, right? This is really scary. Right, racing this close to people, it feels really scary. And here's an attack. And this is what happens when you're um, when you're just starting out. You don't understand like how attacks work, how they feel, how they're supposed to feel, and how long they last, and what you have to do. So the big mistake is showing up right here. It's gonna show up, show its face in just a few moments. Is uh. Is this re one lap to go? It's gonna be right here. It's reacting to, to attacks. Look at this, this guy in front of me is struggling. His head is down. And now the gap of death in front of him. <coughs> and look behind me, there's still people behind me. And look at this huge gap, that is so painful. Now I don't go up there. I don't have the, I don't have the knowledge to do that and everybody else goes, but I stay. And this is how I got dropped so many times. Such a big mistake is not knowing that you gotta go around, okay? Not knowing that you gotta step on it. Not knowing to react immediately. You gotta, you gotta really hammer out 
some watts for five seconds. It's all it is for me to have stayed up there. Five seconds, 10 seconds, I would have been fine. And then I would have been in the draft, no problem. Now look at what I have to do now. This is insane. This is so cringe. It's so bad. And that amount of watts, look, I can't even really Skype, uh, spike to 800 watts. I didn't have that back then. I, I could have, I could close this now. Can I? I don't, I, I don't think they're going very fast, honestly. <coughs> if I sprint for 10 seconds, I could catch up. I could get it up to like 29 miles an hour. And back then, there's no way. Also, I think there's a lot of wind. And look, I'm just hammering out watts. And those are big watts for me back then. And this is so painful. And I almost kind of close it. But my heart, my heart rate is maxed out. I can't anymore. I just blew myself up. So this mistake of not knowing what is happening, not knowing that these attacks happen and you got to jump on it right away, immediately to survive. And I see that sometimes in the cat fives and, and you'll see that everywhere. You'll see people getting dropped in the, in the, in the one, two, threes. You'll see them getting dropped um, in, the, in the three fours. And it's because you don't, you think that it's gonna slow down, but it never does. And then you think like, oh, the guy in front of me, he's just gonna get it together and he's gonna, he's gonna pull us up through, right? He's gonna close the gap. And then he doesn't. And then it's, it's all over. Then you have this, this disgusting gap. Look at this, it's a nightmare. I'm done. And now we're getting slammed with wind, right? I'm going 15 miles an hour because it's, it's, I think it's a headwind here. I can't do anything. So when you see an attack happen, you got to jump on it. No matter what, you're going to have to do some watts. Um, it's going to speed up, but you got to log into wheels in front of you. And you got to be able to notice when somebody's struggling and go around. And I've done it so much in my races where I have gone around and it was successful. But even, um, even as you get more experience, it does happen. You can easily get dropped like this. So knowing, knowing the race, reading the body language, um, reading attacks. Wow, look at that wind. It's so important. Back then, I didn't have like the bandwidth, right? My brain would not understand those things because I was just so uh, concerned with surviving. And it's like the number one way that I got dropped back then. And believe me, I got dropped 16 times in a row. Um, my first year, my first two years before I even finished with the group. So it hurt. It's a big lesson. You got to snap. You got to snap on it right away. Um, and don't wait for somebody to close the gap necessarily. I mean, you can take that chance. I have done that. But if you do take that chance and they don't pull through and they can't, you're going to have to do some major watts. So get, get ready for that. And that's it. I finished, um, uh, I finished whatever that is. I didn't finish with the group. That's it. That's the last lap. Anyways, that's the race, guys. Thank you so much for watching. It's Thursdays with Claudio. We are back, and I'm so excited. Please subscribe. I'm trying to get us up to 10,000 subscribers as soon as we can. Um, I've got so much race footage coming up from races that I'm going to do in the spring. Um, please subscribe notifications thumbs up follow me on instagram i'm popping off on instagram if you have if you missed me um i was on instagram stories i'm popping off i showed my entire costa rica trip everything so uh, look for me on the stories claudio underscore fiero and i'll see you on the next one peace